All right then, so in this lesson, what I'd like to do is implement on the server a bit of logic to validate these two values, the email and the password, before we try to sign the user up. So that if the value that a user tries to use for the email isn't a valid email, we can send an error back. And also, if the password is maybe not strong enough, we can send an error back as well. So let me just show you what happens at the minute if we try to just save something like Yoshi and also a password of just A. Now this is not an email and this is not really a strong password. If we try to send this, then we still get back a 200 response and we've saved that user to the database even though that's not an email and the password is rubbish. So we don't want to do that. And also if I try to send something with a blank password and a blank email as well. If I send that, then we can see this error right here. Now this is not a great error response. I wouldn't output this at the bottom of a form. So I want to make a better error for something like that as well. So we need to check that these values actually exist as well before we try to save them. So where do we want to put all of this validation logic? Well, there's a couple of different places we could do this. We could do it directly in the signup user controller function right here. But what I'd like to do instead is keep all of the signup logic together, including these validation checks, and put it inside this signup static method right here. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually install a package called validator. And that's instead of me coming up with a lot of regex to check against the email and the password. It's going to do that for me. So let's install that package by cancelling out of this process down here and then typing npm install validator like so. All right, and when that's installed, we need to come up here and we need to require that. So const validator is equal to require and we want to require the validator package. All right, so down here, where do we want to do this validation? Well, really, we want to do it before we try any of this down here, because if none of the fields are valid or if one of them is not valid, we don't need to do the rest of this stuff. We just send back some kind of error. So let's do a comment that says validation. And then below that, first of all, I want to make sure that we actually have a value for the email and the password. So we'll do a little if check to say if not email and then or so double pipe not password. So if we don't have a value for either of these, then we're going to throw an error. And the error that we throw is going to have the message, all fields must be filled. So now if we try to send the request whereby the email doesn't exist or the password or both, then we're going to throw this error. And obviously we catch that error down here and we respond with a JSON message, which is the error itself. So this message right here. So that is ultimately what we'd show underneath the form on the React application. So that's the first check. The second thing I want to do is check if the email is a valid email. And for this, we're going to use our validator package. So we're going to say if not validator and then dot and then we use a method called is email. So this checks if something is an email and we want to pass through this email thing right here. So this is going to return true or false. True if it is a valid email, false if it's not. Now, if it is a valid email, we reverse that to be false. So therefore, the if block won't fire. But if it's not a valid email and this is false, we reverse that using this exclamation. And this is going to evaluate to true and therefore it will fire. So we can throw an error if it's not a valid email. So we can say throw error. And the message this time is going to be email is not valid. All right, and there's one more we want to do, and that is to check if the password is strong enough. So I'm going to say if not again, validator, and then we use a method called is strong password. All right, so this is something like if the password has uppercase, lowercase, and a symbol or something like that, and maybe a minimum length of eight, maybe more, I don't know, but we'll find out soon enough. Anyway, we pass in the password this thing right here into that. And then therefore, if the password is not strong enough, we throw an error again. This time we'll just say password not strong enough, like so. Spell this correctly. All right. And that is pretty much all of the validation we really need to do here. We're checking that the fields have values, then that we have a valid email, and then that the password is strong enough. And obviously down here, we do another check to make sure that email hasn't already been used. All right, so 
Now this is all done, let's try this again in Postman. All right then, so first of all, to this endpoint, let's try not adding an email and a password. So if we send this, hopefully, yep, yeah, we get that error message back. All fields must be filled. All right, so let's also try adding an email like yoshi at netninja.dev. Press send. And again, all fields must be filled because we don't have a password. All right, let's say ABC, like so. So let's send this again. So now we can see the password is not strong enough. So let's try capitals ABC at the start, then normal ABC, then one, two, three, and then an exclamation. So if we send this, then we see the email is already in use because we already tried to sign up with Yoshi at netninja.dev. So now let's try Bowser and hopefully this is all gonna work now. And yeah, we can see that document was created and we get it back right here with the hashed password. So all of that kind of validation logic is in place now.